Thank you very much for joining us uh, today on this webinar. Uh, we're very excited to present uh, from data discovery to actionable analytics and end-to-end -end analytics as a service solution for SMBs brought to you by the experts at PurpleCube. Joining me on this webinar today are my colleagues. Uh, my name is Roche. I'm the head of product marketing at Edgematix and PurpleCube. Um, alongside me um, are my colleagues, Shalini, Arjun, and Aneri. Uh, these are the PurpleCube evangelists and experts when it comes to areas of uh, data integration, BI analytics, and data science. So before we jump in, um, what is PurpleCube? Um, so to give you that quick introduction, PurpleCube is an end-to-end -end analytics as a service platform, which has been developed and delivered by Edgematix. Uh, Edgematix being a niche and focused all-in data company that has a presence uh, across the Middle East um, and has been in the, um, in the region for quite a while, uh, working on different data related solutions. So the reason why we're all here today and the reason why we've joined this webinar is to talk about the SMB market. So an interesting statistic uh, from biztech and inc.com that we have here today is more than 70% of data generated by SMBs goes unused more than 70%. That is a significant amount of data that is not being utilized by the SMB market. And there's a, lot of, uh, there's a lot of contributing factors to this. So let's take a look at what some of these are. So firstly, you know, in order for you to be able to utilize the data that you have, it all comes down to your platform that you're using, okay? And what we noticed uh, at PurpleCube and Edgematix over our years of experience is that with most analytics data platforms today, a lot of them are costly to integrate. So depending on the platform you're choosing, you know, these could set you back hundreds and thousands of dollars uh, just on licensing and integration alone. It becomes a complex tool to, uh, to actually uh, integrate into your, your workflow and into your operations. And as a result of that, a lot of these platforms, they lack the agility in data management that your organization needs. So, Having a data platform is one thing, but you know, being able to adapt it to uh, how your uh, to your organization's needs and how your business users are going to use it is a fundamental uh, factor uh, to consider. And a lot of SMBs, while they might have a platform, uh, it comes down to adapting it to their use cases. And as a result, if they fail to operationalize the customer-centric use cases of the platform they have, well, then they're definitely not going to be able to utilize the data that they have to its full advantage. So now that we established that more than 70% of data generated by SMBs goes unused, what does that mean uh, from a business perspective? Well, firstly, it creates a massive untapped potential to discover new trends, pinpoint customer pains, and boost profits in the market. This is a huge opportunity for any SMB that wants to capture that market share and that wants to be able to improve their operations um, and essentially build customer centricity. Now, when we talk about customer centricity, what we mean is uh, any organization that is customer cent uh, centric is able to use their data and insights to build innovations around their products and services. Now, without customer centricity, this becomes hard. So there are three things uh, that any SMB or any organization for that matter needs to focus on when they want to become more customer centric. And that is improving their customer acquisition, retention, and loyalty. If they're not able to effectively uh, become customer centric, then essentially they will not be able to derive the full benefits of their data and insights. So this is one of the key challenges that we've noticed uh, with a lot of SMBs in the markets. And I'm glad to say that we've been working very hard at PurpleCube to try and come up with a solution that can address this problem. So PurpleCube uh, is an analytics as a service uh, platform that is end-to-end, -end, meaning it is an all-in-one solution that we put together. We built PurpleCube to be secure, scalable, and cost-effective because that is what matters to our customers. With PurpleCube, you not only get a customer-centric analytics platform that is fueled by artificial intelligence and machine learning, but you also get the support of a team of data experts with more than 100 years of experience uh, within the data industry. 
So just think about that. You're getting a platform that helps you to build customer centricity, but along with that, it's fueled by artificial uh, intelligence and machine learning, and it's supported by a team of experts. With the Purple Cube solution, um, it is broken down into three key areas that we wanted to highlight, being our three pillars, prepare, analyze, and predict. These three pillars cover the data analytics journey that any organization would undertake. So let's take a brief look at what this entails. So if you're an organization, you need to now connect your data to your cloud data warehouse. So you can be connecting uh, your data from multiple sources and systems uh, from a range of uh, different applications. When you connect your data to your cloud data warehouse, being it uh, uh, the cloud data warehouse like Snowflake, AWS, Google Cloud, or Azure, uh, you're now gonna enter the data analytics journey. Okay, in order to analyze your data, you first need to prepare it. So in order to prepare your data, you need to run, uh, you need to connect your data, but also run specific data cleansing and data transformation rules uh, in order to ensure that that data is uh, qualified in order to be pulled into your analytics needs. With Purple Cube, we've actually taken this preparation phase and we've created a component called the Purple Cube Studio. Purple Cube, Purple Cube Studio sits within the Purple Cube application and it's ideally used by your data engineers. Now, once your data is connected, uh, you now need to analyze that data and you need to be able to use, you, know, uh, oh, you need to analyze your data in a way that's quick, cost-effective and efficient. And there's new ways that you can uh, achieve this uh, with Purple Cube. Uh, and these are through some key features such as AI-based search, um, automated insights, BI and AI visualizations, essentially everything that your key business users would need in order to make those business decisions. We effectively enable this through uh, another component of Purple Cube being our Purple Cube analytics. Essentially, this will be used by your business analysts and your key decision makers. And then the third pillar of Purple Cube is for your more mature organizations that want to dabble in a bit of um, AI and uh, machine learning to do some prediction and forecasting with their analytics. Again, Purple Cube is able to support this need uh, through our Purple Cube data science component. And essentially, this is a, a section that would be leveraged by your data scientists. So what you're effectively seeing here is that all-in-one solution for your data analytics journey. And we've built it in such a way that it's secure, scalable, and cost-effective for any organization that wants to build actionable analytics from their data. So our primary goal with Purple Cube is to help you go from data discovery to actionable analytics in the quickest and most cost-efficient way possible. Our primary goal at Purple Cube is to help you achieve that uh, analytics 100% faster than you would get from most traditional tools that are out there. We want to help you reduce the time to insight uh, and not from days and weeks to just a matter of minutes. You need to be able to be agile in terms of getting that analytics and insights out of your data in order to make the right business decisions quicker and more effectively. And as a result of that, at Purple Cube, our goal here is to help you achieve six and a half times that ROI that you would invest in building you know, a similar sol uh, solution uh, on your own or actively you know, trying to find uh, different platforms that can work together to achieve the same result. So Purple Cube is that integrated analytics as a service platform that helps you to operationalize analytics from start to end. And the way that we achieve all of these goals is through some of the key features that we have. So let's take a look at each of them one by one. Firstly, uh, Purple Cube is able to connect to more than 150 uh, data sources through our pre-built connectors. So whether you're connecting uh, data from a CRM, an ERP system, um, you know, uh, e-commerce platform, um, you name it. And Purple Cube is more than likely to support that uh, connection through one of our pre-built connectors. Secondly, with Purple Cube, we provide a data preparation wizard that is intuitive and easy to use. So you'll be able to leverage a drag and drop interface to be able to connect your data and perform the data cleansing and data transformation rules that you need in order to get the data in the format that will work for you based on your analytical use cases. 
Thirdly, with Purple Cube, uh, we've leveraged, uh, you know, we're at an, at an age where everything is driven by search. If we need to find out something, if we're looking for something, the first thing we do is type in a search, whether it's on Google, whether it's on our local PC, search is the way for us to get to uh, the answers we need a lot quicker. And with Purple Cube, uh, we're act we've effectively integrated an AI-enabled Google-like search on the platform. So that means you'll be able to use natural language to be able to search through your data and get the insights you need that much quicker, that much uh, faster when it comes to uh, the KPIs that you're looking for. And along with that, uh, through Purple Cube's uh, built-in AI and machine le learning algorithms, the system also analyzes your data to, and outputs smart insights and suggestions uh, to give you answers to questions you didn't even think to ask. So imagine having a system that's working for you behind the scenes to give you those insights and to give you that analytics that you, know, you didn't even think that you should consider within your organization. Now that in itself is game changing. Along with Purple Cube, we do support AI environments for any customers that wanna engage in uh, forecasting and predictive uh, analytics uh, through AI models, such as uh, using scripts like R and Python. And maybe uh, you, know, you wanna use one of the, our templated approaches to bringing your actionable analytics uh, to life in a more quicker and more efficient way. And this is something that we've been working at, uh, at Purple Cube uh, for very long based on our expertise and knowledge of the market. So what we've done is we've taken our expertise and our knowledge when it comes to data analytics for respective uh, verticals and we've, uh, we've packaged that into our platform in the form of AI, uh, industry specific AI algorithms. So what that means is that you will be able to leverage some of our pre-built BI dashboards and pre-built templates to actually build your analytics and help you get to insights a lot quicker. This way, you won't need to build the dashboards from scratch. Leveraging our pre-built templates, you can just uh, get the insights you need in a few clicks. So what does that mean uh, for an organization that is in uh, any specific industry or vertical? Well, that's the beauty of Purple Cube. You know, we're building it for a very big segment in terms of uh, organizations that want to build better customer centricity and get to actionable analytics in a quicker and more cost-effective way. And as a result, we've made Purple Cube to be scalable and to be flexible and in a way that can be used by organizations to meet and operationalize their use cases in the most efficient way. So no matter what organization you're in, Purple Cube is the perfect solution to give you that end-to-end -end analytics and to help you uh, build your analytics uh, based on your specific use cases. But let's say you wanna take that templated approach. What does that look like? Well, with Purple Cube, uh, this is a very quick example of what a templated uh, approach would look like. Let's say if you're a telecom industry, and uh, if you're a company in the telecom industry and you wanna analyze specific use cases, maybe value-based charging or improving customer loyalty acquisition and retention, or maybe even network analysis and planning and operations. Within each of these use cases, there are a range of different dashboards that you can choose from, ranging from both BI and AI dashboards, depending on your needs. This is something that we're building into Purple Cube just to help those organizations that want to get to into their insights a lot quicker and a lot faster by helping them through that uh, dashboard building process. This is what it looks like in a retail example, and this is what it looks like in the banking case. There are different use cases and different dashboards that you can leverage. So I think I've spoken enough about uh, Purple Cube to give you that introduction. Now let's get to the more exciting part where you actually get to see all of this uh, in action uh, with our Purple Cube experts. So as a, um, from here, I'm gonna hand it over to my colleagues, Arjun and Shalini, and they're gonna walk you through some of the use cases that we talked about um, and show you how this can be used uh, within, uh, how Purple Cube can be leveraged within a leading telecom organization. Thanks, Rushi. Hi, everyone. Uh, for uh, today's demo, let's peep into a day in a leading telecom organization. Mark is the chief operating officer um, who 
needs visibility into his customer acquisition trend and he want to analyze it based on multiple factors like sales channel product region etc he also would like to segment his dealers based on their performance and uh, uh, mark them into bronze silver uh, categories now the expectation is to drill down into the lowest level of detail and get the insights out of it he also would want to forecast the gross additions to his customers for next 6 months john is his data analyst and jenny is his data engineer now let us move on to our purple cube application so uh, let's see how mark leverages purple cube in two scenarios mark being a standard customer and uh, uh, being a, an enterprise customer now on your screen is the purple cube application to help him we have his data engineer jenny who knows which are the associated data sets that mark would want to get his insights and she helps him onboard those data sets using purple cube jenny logs into purple cube and she moves into the data management tab and quickly connect to data and now we she will open the op purple cube studio platform now purple cube studio is one of the integral parts of purple cube analytics platform this is an easy to use drag and drop browser based user interface to prepare your data using purple cube studio we can build monitor and scheduled data pipelines we can turn our raw data sets into analytics ready with applied data cleansing transformation rules etc we have serverless data processing and push down architecture with by taking the full advantage of the powerful processing platform now let us see how jenny onboards the associated data sets effortlessly in three single steps what first step would be to connect the source and target system second one to specify which tables files or objects that need to be processed and the third one will be designing the data pipeline itself now jenny knows uh what uh, as i said jenny knows what data sets need to be brought in for uh, uh, achieving uh, marks requirement so on the uh, left we have the various functionalities offered by studio which can be used to build the pipeline first step is the data point creation which is associating or connecting your source target or processing platform now as you see on the screen purple cube connects to multitude of data sources these are to establish the relationship with source and target and the processing platform like uh, you see on the screen we have the relational databases ms sql uh, mysql connections no sql such as cassandra uh, hadoop M any mpp platforms such as snowflake redshift uh, web services and uh, cloud and api based uh, systems like uh, salesforce facebook twitter etc so as rushi mentioned earlier we have over 150 plus pre built connectors and the list is still expanding now uh, let us select file server which is the remote file server data point where jenny has one of her data sets i am going to keep the default names for that and all jenny needs to do is provide the credentials like a host port username password etc and save it similarly she has other uh, uh, data sets in sql server and mysql database i have already the data points created for that as you can see uh, all we need to provide is basic uh, connection credentials like uh, the host username password etc now once the data points are created the second step is to import the data objects now once we create our data points we can easily import these object by clicking on the import schema 
and navigating to the data point that we created. Let me just show you an example of how Jenny imports a file from the remote file server. Once she clicks on server, it will list down the files available and uh, she get a quick, once we click on next, yeah, she gets a quick glance on uh, the sample data sets. It also provides suggestion on um, the data types and uh, the um, length, the specific structure for that data set. We can either choose to save it as it is or edit it. Um, remembering that this suggestion is based on a sample data sets. So it is very easy to import the data objects as well. So uh, like the same way we imported for file, Jenny imports data objects for from her MySQL and SQL Server databases as well. Now, the third and last step is to design a data flow. Data flow is the, let me just save this. Yeah, data flow uh, is the flow of data from source to target, uh, right? With uh, the transformation rules or built in uh, data quality rules that we need to incorporate uh, while preparing the data pipeline. Now, let me click on a new data point creation. I'll choose the underlying processing platform, which is Snowflake default name. And this is the data flow preparation wizard. On your left, you have the sources and targets, which is uh, associated with the data points that we created in step one. Along with that, we have the transformation and actions associated with this. These transform components are nothing but pre-built components to allow you to transform your data. As you can see, we have expression which can be used to create, uh, to br bring in any expression. We have joiner to associate data sets from multiple tables. We have roll up actions. So this is to perform calculations such as average, some um, grouping activities. For filter is for row based filtering. We have similarly a uh, splitter function in order to split data sets into multiple targets and the list goes on. Now, all Jenny needs to do is drag and drop the associated file sets onto the designer window, which is in the middle. Let me just show an example here. I'm clicking, I'm choosing this file and uh, I'm also going to choose one from my MySQL database. Now onto this for transforming, I am going to drag and drop um, roll up action. Jenny suspects there are some duplicates in this particular data set. So in order to remove the de uh, duplicates, we are use, going to do deduplication using roll, roll up transform. And uh, um, also, we are going to apply certain data quality rules, uh, standard data quality rules using data cleansing component. And we are also going to join these two data sets um, using a joiner action. Now, once uh, one more important and useful feature here for within Purple Cube Studio is the interactive session. Once we toggle on this interactive mode, what we can see is a quick glance of the data from these. So at every step, we can have this mode on and we can verify the um, uh, data, uh, how that data got transformed in these steps. So I'm going to connect this before uh, connecting this particular, this is a file and I see that there is a uh, header in that file. So I'm going to provide skip my header and then associate this to the data cleansing component. Similarly, I'm going to uh, connect to the rollup my deduplication component and I'm going to specify what all attributes should I bring in from my source. Now, this is one another uh, capability. We can filter out the columns at every step based on the select attribute action. We need not bring the whole set 
from start to end we can choose and uh, uh, select only the required ones now uh, i'm going to connect it to joiner and uh, i'm going to give, okay before that uh, i just connected to my uh, data cleansing attributes uh, now i will select what all data quality rules i need to apply within i am going to select all my um oh. columns from my file and as you see on the screen now we have a window driven click and choose data quality rules this is the these are the standard data quality rules which we can choose from this list i choose to trim the data or convert to a, a upper case lower case replacing null in numeric field with zero or with blanks so i'm going to select all of these for my data set isn't it cool to have a window driven click and choose option to cleanse your data i know data cleansing is one of the pain point for all data engineers now let us connect uh, the joiner so i i can choose to choose my joining option whether it is inner join left outer join etc i am choosing um in a join the default one and uh, i am going to choose my key based on which i am going to connect the uh, join the data sets so it's so the sales channel key from both the data sets and here i can validate my joining condition then and there to ensure that the uh, joining is successful now all i need to do is connect it to a target and if from the select attributes i will select which all um, attributes need to be carry forwarded into my uh, final target table so i am going to choose all the attributes from uh, um, except for my sales channel key so in order to avoid duplicates because i have the sales channel key coming in from my other data sets now it is very easy to create a target on the go i can click here on the joiner option and uh, on on clicking the three dots it gives me an uh, option to create as target i am going to create my target in snowflake and going to give a data object name for this demo let me keep it as uh, uh, since it is a standard user i am going to just provide standard uh, demo 02 yeah now i'm going to create this and as you can see on here it if we have the option to create target which will create the target object dynamically when this job is run let us save this job and uh, run this let's see what happens and i have clicked on run it has ex started the execution successfully let's move on to the monitor module monitor module is an interface which will provide the live stats of uh, the job execution as you can see it is in active state right now and the job has run successfully if i expand this i can see the various steps within that data flow along with the operational statistics so it has loaded uh, the it has extracted the number of records it also shows the loaded records and if at all any records gets rejected it will show in bad uh, bad records now uh, in order to verify this okay one way is to go back to data flow and when the interactive mode is opened we can see the data in in our target component another way another useful feature with uh, which bubble cube offers is the sql editor console now jenny can easily query the source or target data object using the sql editor interface this is one single interface to query all your connected database or application this actually eliminates for specific sql client tools and remember these connections are uh, available in the sql editor based on the data points that you have created so uh, we have uh, ms sql we have mysql data points created in the beginning right so it of, uh, shows the same now let's see did uh, which uh, if our target uh, table that we created just now got created and it also gives the complete view of tables 
to which the user uh, credentials has uh, uh, privileges to. Now let's see, uh, this is the table which we created, STD demo 02. I can click on that and just run a query to fetch some sample records from it. Now, this is very handy. Uh, often, often when we uh, uh, data engineers deal with multiple sources, we have to use uh, different IDE tools to uh, different uh, client tools, SQL client tools in order to check our data. Now with uh, Purple Cube, once you create the data point, you have every access to query the database then in, in one single platform. Uh, as you see, we have fetched sample records and it also provides the table structure for that. And uh, um, like Mark required, um, he wanted to segment his dealers based on the performance. Let's see how Jenny uh, would have done that. So uh, the associated data points and data objects are already imported. Now let's see uh, in the data flow. This is one such uh, data flow created with some complex uh, uh, transformation rules and business rules applied within it. Uh, let me just adjust the screen so that we can view it completely. Okay. So uh, the data set is coming from three different sources. One is a remote file server, one is a MySQL, database, another is a SQL Server database. From SQL Server database, we are getting the channel score, the sales channel score for each of the dealers. Now, for, from, for each of these data sets, data cleansing rules have been applied using the pre-built data cleansing component. And any complex data quality rule, if we need to apply, that can be done using the expressions within that. And uh, uh, we have grouped it because in order to deduplicate the data set, join the data set, join the three data sets based on the joining condition. And uh, uh, we are moving it to a T-staged uh, component, which is a temporary area for storing the data. And then here in the joiner, if you see, I have a derived attribute section wherein the business rule is applied where Jenny has segregated the sales channel people into segments, right? So this derived attributes is available at every stage. We can add a new derived attribute at any stage. And finally, the data is split into different targets based on the condition, like uh, based on the segments. Now, once this job is run, we can verify the stats from monitor window and just one more uh, easy um, useful feature of uh, uh, purple cube like if we want to lift and shift data we can choose it by the new dm wizard where we can choose the target option and uh, once we create uh, it is a um, click and choose option. We can select the data point from which we have to move data in and uh, we can choose the uh, target data object. It gets automatically created and your final step will be, let me just show that here. The final output of that will be something like this, wherein you all the selected source objects and the target objects will be created automatically. And once you run this, uh, the data will be lifted and shifted from your source to target. Now, this is the process when Mark as a um, standard customer, how Jenny helps him to onboard data. Net, now let's look at how Mark leverages as an enterprise customer. Remember Mark wanted to see the customer acquisition trend and the forecasting. Now with the uh, purple cube, how Mark does is he leverages the pre-built template, uh, leverages the pre-built BI dashboards, which gets auto-populated once uh, um, data is onboarded and the AI reference model part. Jenny comes back to the purple cube uh, uh, studio. She knows uh, what uh, data is needed to load the BI dashboards. Now, before executing this job, I just want to take you to our 
pre-built BI dashboard. So let's move it, move back into the Purple Cube application. And uh, yeah, now let's go to dashboard management, BI dashboard. And uh, let's see, as you see on the screen, right now, the pre-built dashboard is empty with zero metrics. Now, Jenny goes back to the Purple Cube studio. She runs this job. And let's check in the monitor. The, as you see, the job is right currently in the active state. It is running. And uh, it's pro uh, proceeding with the last step. Let's refresh it again. And wait for the job to complete. Yes, it is complete. And as we see the stats, it has loaded uh, 10,000 records. Now let's go back to our BI dashboards and uh, BI dashboard and refresh it. As you see, the dashboard gets populated with the relevant metrics and KPIs. Now, at this point, I would want to hand over to Arjun, uh, who will explain more about the capabilities of Purple Cube Analytics and Data Science. Over to you, Arjun. Thank you, Shalini. Hi, everyone. So uh, what we just saw is a data engineer uh, transforming uh, their org data and loading it into the Purple Cube data templates. And with that, we have a pre-built dashboard populated and uh, ready to be consumed. So generally to build these uh, standard dashboards like uh, with other BI tools, it would have taken uh, say months or at least weeks of effort. But with Purple Cube, what we promise is like we'll be able to cut down the development efforts to days and uh, in some cases hours with this pre-built templates and dashboards. Now, uh, let's see what all can Mark do with this available dashboard. Let's say Mark goes through this dashboard and he finds these insights are uh, useful and he wants this dashboard to be shared uh, uh, with, with other users or the user from his team. So he can just go ahead and click on this icon, which is the share icon, and he can select the user here and he can select view or edit access. So with this view or access, if he gives the view access, the user will only be able to uh, view this dashboard. Uh, and with edit access, he will be able to uh, edit the dashboard if he has the right privileges and has uh, the access to the underlying data sets. So he can just provide a uh, view access here and share and uh, the dashboard will be shared with that specific user. And let's say Mark wants to uh, edit a uh, few things in the dashboard and he wants to make a copy for, for his analysis or a make a copy of his own. So he can just select make a copy here and give a new name for the uh, dashboard. And uh, the save and a new dashboard will be saved under Mark's name. So now uh, if Mark wants to add anything to the existing dashboard and if he has the right privileges and also the access to the underlying data set, he can go ahead and add it to the existing dashboard. And, and uh, if, if Mark wants to explore more or dig deeper into a specific insight, like in this case, like Mark wants to dig deeper into the POS acquisitions, point of sale acquisitions, uh, under each visual uh, in Purple Cube Analytics, you have a, an option called Explore. So once he clicks on this Explore, it will open up a window of data exploration and guided insights. So based on the dimension and measure selected in this visual, we already see some suggestions. So this is very useful when a business user is exploring uh, a specific dashboard and he does not have uh, much technical knowledge. Uh, in Purple Cube, it, provided, it provides those uh, guided suggestions which will be very helpful uh, for business users. So in Explore option, we have uh, four different things wherein we can filter the data, we can add uh, any other dimension into the uh, visual or we can replace the dimension and we can compare the dimension values. So now let's filter the data. 
let's say I'm happy with the suggestion it provides here and I want to see uh, the acquisitions for this POS for only network type 4G. So I can apply those filters and if I don't want that, I can just cancel it. And if I want to add uh, any other dimension, so right now I have a point of sale and uh, the count of subscribers, but if I want to change it to Emirate, I can always change it. I can select add and I can get that. And I can add the dimension to the specific uh, uh, visual. Or if I want to uh, select the network type. So let me add the dimension network type. So now I have the uh, count for 3G or 4G customers here. And then next I will go to replace. So right now uh, I have pause. I want to replace it with Emirate. So once you click on this column, you can always select from the complete data set. You can always utilize the length and breadth of the data set to choose the dimension you want to uh, in this specific visual. So I will select the Emirate. So I have it by Emirate now. And now if I want to compare two different values, so I want to compare the network type 4G and 5G comparisons. So now I have a table here. It tells me what are the 3G and 4G acquisitions happening at, at the Emirates. And now if I want to pin, the, pin this uh, specific uh, uh, visual to my existing dashboard, I will just go ahead and pin and add it to my existing dashboard. Here pinboard is nothing but uh, a dashboard in purple cube. So once uh, that has been added, and let's say uh, we want to drill down and want to dig deeper and get more insights. So we just have to do a right click and say drill down. Like in other analytical tools, purple cube does not limit you uh, uh, from uh, choosing the dimensions. In many other uh, uh, BI tools, you will have to create a hierarchy and then only you can use the drill down uh, capability. But with purple cube, you have the freedom to choose whichever dimension or measure you are interested in and go about the drill down capability. So let me say for gallery and all, I want to see by subscriber status, whether they are active or inactive. So I see that 135 active users are there and 90 inactive users are there for the gallery mall uh, subscriber acquisitions. Now I want to dig more deeper and I want to see by region. So all my active users where exactly uh, they are based out of or which region they belong to. So you can click and now I, I see that out of those active users, they are split with Ajman, Fujaira and Amal Queen. So this is how we can use the drill down functionality and it is not limited to any hierarchies. And let's say now Mark wants to create a schedule so that he gets this dashboard as a PDF. So you can just go to manage schedules and say create schedule and here most of the things are self-explanatory so here if you want to select the interval let's say i want it at a daily level and i can select the days so i can say every weekday or every day and i can select the hour so let's say i want it at 11 a.m i can select the minutes also uh, i just give a name for it and the description here and what type I want this uh, dashboard to be. Uh, I want it as a PDF. And if I want to configure the layout options, I can choose here the pin board. Pin board is nothing but dashboard. So when I select the pin board, uh, the whole pin board will be sent in the form of PDF, whether in the landscape or landscape mode or portrait mode, whatever we select. And if we want the visualizations, we can select, like each visualization will be separate in that PDF and we can select which visualization we want in that. And there are more settings too, like if you want to truncate the tables and if you want to add some footer logo, if you want to send it outside the organization, if you want to add your custom branding or a logo, you can always do it here or add a footer text here. And uh, that's about the schedule. And if you want to uh, send it to a specific user, let's say I want to give it to PC user one and I add it, and uh, if he has that mail ID, the schedule will create a PDF and will be sent to that specific mail ID for the user. 
So this is uh, about the dashboards, uh, which we have like for the pre-built uh, dashboards. So within Purple Cube, we have uh, under each vertical, we have multiple use cases and we have multiple dashboards. Uh, and uh, the one which we saw was for telecom vertical. And let's say if it is a banking vertical, we have few uh, specific templates where, wherein we have uh, data templates for banking and data pre-built dashboards for the banking use cases. And there are many like this. Uh, at Purple Cube, uh, we continuously uh, include more use cases, more pre-built templates, and uh, uh, more pre-built dashboards, which our customers can utilize. But let's say uh, Mark has a use case, uh, which is not available in Purple Cube. Uh, now, how he can go about it? So he can utilize the data engineer's expertise to onboard the data. So once the data is onboarded, Mark can send his requirements to the data analyst, John. And now let's see how John can create uh, insights for Mark. And also uh, after that, let's see how a business user can utilize this easy to use uh, search capability within the purple cube to find his insights on his own. So now uh, let's go through the Mark's requirements. Let's say his first requirement is uh, he wants to see the subscriber count uh, by network type, whether it is 4G or 3G, and he want it at a daily level. So like in other BI tools, the users need not worry about uh, uh, the date fields and getting it uh, uh, into the layout and filtering uh, the date field or creating calculations for the date fields. If the date field is available in the data set, Purple Cube is intelligent enough to create those calculations for you and it is very easy to use. Now I have it at a daily level and I, I see my data spans from 2010 to 2020. Now let's say I want just for last three years. I'll just say last three years in the natural language. I'll just use my natural language and I will say last three years. I have that calculation already because uh, Purple Cube has that capability to create that, those calculations for you. So now I have it from 2018 to 2020, uh, wherein I have a, at a daily level acquisitions and the number of subscribers. So now I want to pin this. I find this uh, insight uh, useful and I want to pin it to a, a dashboard. So I will create a pin board. I will name it as acquisition and I will say add. So once I add it, I get a tick mark here. And now this uh, specific visual is added to the pin board. And now let's go ahead and do a second uh, requirement. The second requirement is like uh, Mark wants to see uh, the migration type by Emirates. Let's see how we can do it. So John will do a subscriber count and he wants to do it by migration type, whether it is prepaid to postpaid or postpaid to prepaid. and I will select the Emirates. And now by default, it gives me uh, this bar chart. And if I want it as a cross tab, I can always select the cross tab and I can pin it to the dashboard, which I just created. Or if I want it as a bar itself, I can just pin it as a bar. And let's say I'm still not happy with the bar. And if I want to choose any other visual based on the dimensions and measures selected in the layout, uh, uh, we can see this in this chart option, it highlights the charts which is applicable for those dimensions and measures. So I see that a flow chart, like a Sankey chart would be more meaningful, wherein I can see the migration type mirate by prepaid to postpaid, postpaid to prepaid, MNP or new connection. So I feel that this is more useful and I pin it to the existing dashboard. And this is how a John, a data analyst, would be uh, creating a dashboard or creating more complex visuals and uh, insights for Mark. And let's say Mark himself wants to do a search or find his insights. So with Purple Cube, uh, the users need not be technically equipped. The business users need not be technically equipped like in other uh, BI tools. They just need to know one thing. They need to know how to search which in this modern world, everyone knows it. So if we have to find something, we always go to Google and search and find out about a specific thing which we are looking for. The same thing applies here. So once the data engineer, Jenny, tells Mark that his data has been onboarded, he can just go and search his data. He just need not know what dimension or measure. So let's say I'm a business user 
and I am responsible for the acquisitions happening at Safir Mall. So I want to know what is the acquisition uh, in Safir Mall for the year 2020 for the month of January. So I will say subscriber. Okay, and now Safir Mall is something which is not a column, but it is a value in a column. Purple Cube is uh, capable enough to get those values also, which is under a column. So here Safir Mall is a column. So I will just search Safir and I, I get that Safir Mall. And then I want to see it for the year 2020. So I don't have to choose any other data field. The business users need not select any other date field. Uh, for filtering out the date. They just need to select 2020 and say, okay, and I'll get the 2020 numbers. And let's say they don't understand, okay, to put the digits or the numbers like that. Uh, they can just say in the natural language last year. So now we are in 2021 and I will say last year. So I'll get the last year number, which is 2020. And I want it for the month of January. So I will say January and I have that number. So I can just go ahead and pin this to my existing dashboard. And uh, it's done the same way if, they, if, if a business user wants to do a comparison, let's say he wants to do a comparison of 2019 versus 2020 subscriber acquisitions. So he just have to type 29 versus 2020 and select the month of year. So if you want it by month, select month of year, and we have it. And if you want it as a visual, we can just say this. And if we feel this is useful, we can just go ahead and pin it to the existing dashboard. This is how a business user who need not know the technical things uh, in this specific tool in Purple Cube, he can just go ahead with the search and find his own insights uh, uh, respect to his business, with respect to his business. And uh, now let's go ahead and see the pin board which we just created. So once we go and see the pin board here, there is ways to uh, resize it. There are a few predefined uh, sizes which we can select and uh, utilize it. And now let's say I'm happy with it. I will save these changes. And if I want to share it with someone, I can just go ahead and select the user and I can provide the edit access and I can give access to the underlying data sources. Also, if I give the under access to underlying data sources, they will be able to edit this dashboard and uh, build uh, plates and pre-built dashboards. And the second use case was like if they have their own data set and they want to onboard it and create their own insights and dashboards. With Purple Cube, we have a feature called Embrace. Let's say uh, a customer or a company has a analytically consumable data uh, and they want to just plug it to the Purple Cube analytics. So Purple Cube analytics has two entry points. One is through the Purple Cube Studio and the other is through this Embrace feature. So let's say uh, the customer has all his uh, data in the warehouses like the modern cloud data warehouses like Snowflake. Uh, or Amazon Redshift, Google BigQuery, Azure Synapse, Teradata, or SAP HANA. They can always go ahead and uh, uh, select select the connection. So let me show the connection which I have already created for Snowflake. So they can give the connection name and they can specify the description and then give the connection details and this will show what all schemas are accessible for me and which I have access to. And from there I can select the table. So here I have selected seven tables. So these seven tables will be accessible from Purple Cube Analytics. So this is a very cool feature. Like if someone has an already analytically consumable data, they can just come here and uh, connect it uh, to the Purple Cube Analytics platform. And within the data once the tables has been onboarded uh, let's go ahead and see we can we have a feature called as worksheet worksheet is something which we uh, create on top of a table 
or if we want to create joints between multiple tables uh, uh, we can do that using the worksheet and also if we have defined the uh, relationships in the source itself in the data warehouse itself like uh, the primary key secondary key all those relationships purple cube is intelligent enough to understand those relationships and we don't have to explicitly define it here so if we want to explicitly define we can always utilize the uh, worksheet capability wherein we can select the columns which we are interested in from the two different tables so here i have selected two different tables i can select the columns which i am interested in and it will segregate uh, based on two different tables here and if i want to create formulas on top of it like worksheet is a place where it is a central repository where we can create multiple formulas and store it so that it is useful for uh, uh, the users using it. Let's say I'm a data engineer and I want this data set to be used by business users. I can do that. And also I can create more filters too. I can add the filters and with a single data set, I can create multiple uh, data sets like a subset of a data set by uh, applying filters and giving it to different teams. So this is the beautiful feature of uh, worksheet. And then uh, let's say uh, if, if, if gross ARPU is being uh, consumed or treated by different teams in a different way, like they call it with different names. So instead of giving uh, three different data sets to the users within the same uh, data set, we can just define the synonyms like for gross ARPU, some may call ARPU, like average revenue per user, and some might call it GRPU, gross average revenue per user. We can just define it with the uh, comma separated values and then we can uh, utilize the same data set for multiple teams. So this is the capability of the worksheet. And I would like to show one last feature on the BI front wherein we get some automated insights. So let's say I have a table, I have onboarded that onto the uh, platform. So I will just go ahead and uh, I want an automated insights on it. I don't want to do any searches. I will just say spot IQ analyze and I will select the columns which I'm interested in. And if someone has uh, advanced knowledge on advanced analytics and knowledge, they can define those parameters. Otherwise, they can just select the columns and say analyze. And now uh, this anal analyze will be there in uh, spot IQ tab. And let's see how much time it takes for this analysis. So within 10 seconds, my results are ready and I have almost 16 insights by analyzing these many rows in 4.18 seconds. Now let's say if I'm interested in uh, a specific visual and I find these insights useful, I have also those descriptions which helps me understand what is happening with the visual. So I find this insight relevant for me. I can just go ahead and get my existing dashboard. This is one beautiful feature of Purple Cube. Uh, and this is about the BI section now. Uh, moving on to the third pillar of uh, Purple Cube, which is Purple Cube Data Science. With Purple Cube, uh, we provide a data science platform which has all the features and power required by the data scientists, uh, like data wrangling and data processing, and many more. Uh, and they have the freedom to choose whichever language they want to work on, whether it is R or Python. And uh, with each use case, like there are uh, two ways they can work here, like. Uh, there are multiple use cases listed under uh, Purple Cube uh, uh, application. So uh, some use cases are relevant to both BI and AI and some use cases are specific to data science uh, use cases. So now let's go ahead and see the gross ads forecast, uh, gross ads uh, forecast for uh, the customer acquisition. So I will view the dashboard here. So I have this forecast till March. So this is for the specific data set, which we just onboarded for our pre-built uh, BI dashboard. The same can be done for the AI also, wherein we have some reference models that model has been run and the output is provided back to the Purple Cube application. And uh, also in Purple Cube, we have some specific use cases uh, like QRC. Today, Aneri will be discussing uh, on this specific use case, which is QRC query request and complaint. Uh, dashboard, which is common across many verticals like telecom, banking, and retail. Uh, and now over to you, Aneri. Thanks, Arjun. 
So this is an example of an AI dashboard that you can build and view in uh, our Purple Cube environment using the AI environment that we provide. This specific dashboard has been built on uh, customer QRC data, that's query requests and complaints data specific to the telecom industry. So the AI model that runs behind this dashboard outputs forecasts for every week for the next seven weeks, all in one go. The forecasts are for weeks beginning from a Sunday till the next Sunday. You can view the forecasts for any of these seven weeks by selecting the starting Sunday of the week that you're interested in using this date selector on the left. So this section here of the dashboard shows you a forecast of the number of customers that are expected to raise a complaint in the next week with a high or medium probability. When you navigate to this tab, you can view the details of the customer, which is in this case, the subscriber ID for the telecom industry. So you can view the number of customers with a medium probability of raising a complaint in the next week over here. And you can view their details over here for high probability. Going back to the weekly forecast, this section here shows a percentage wise forecast of the complaints pertaining to SMS voice and data that are expected in the next week. Similarly, this section here at the bottom shows a percentage wise forecast of complaints expected in the next week uh, for, from different mediums. And uh, this section here shows a forecast of the complaints expected in the next week based on the Emirate. And uh, this section here shows a percentage wise forecast of the total number of uh, complaints, queries and requests expected in the next week. This tab here for the time series forecast uh, shows you the same forecasts that the weekly forecast dash, uh, tab shows you but it allows you to analyze trends because it shows you an overall picture with all the forecasts for the next seven weeks. Over to you, Rusha. Now, before we close off, uh, I just wanna very quickly recap on key takeaways for SMBs when it comes to analytics as a service. Now, as we've established, analytics as a service can be a cost-effective way for organizations to build actionable analytics from their data um, without having to break the bank. So with this, uh, there's just a very short checklist that you, know, you should be considering if you're looking for an analytics solution um, and what it can provide to you. So firstly, you should ask yourself, is this analyt uh, analytics as a service solution cost-effective? So, can you generate insights from your data without breaking the bank? And with Purple Cube, that's exactly what we built this to be. You know, it's an all-in-one analytic solution uh, that brings in your data integration, your BI, and your AI uh, all in one without uh, at a fraction of the cost of most traditional tools that are out there. Now, considering that you know uh, this is an all-in-one package. Think about it this way, uh, with a traditional tool or even building your own platform, you'd have to connect at least three, four, maybe even five different uh, components in order to achieve the same result. So one, is it cost effective? And yes, Purple Cube is a fraction of the cost of most traditional tools out there. Secondly, is it scalable and flexible? So can the solution be customized uh, to my data analytics needs? And again, we've made Purple Cube such that, you know, you need to have a platform that you can use uh, in the way that you need it to meet your specific use cases. With Purple Cube, you know you want to be able to scale uh, your um, your computing needs and your storage and everything else that goes along with your data analytics solution uh, in the quickest and most efficient way possible. Then is uh, it comes down to data security. So how will my data be secured in the cloud? So you know does the uh, solution provider ensure enterprise grade uh, encryption um, and also logical partitioning of your uh, data storage in the cloud warehouse. These are all elements that you need to consider. And uh, again, we built Purple Cube to be uh, secure and to be cost-effective and to be scalable as you grow. 
it is, uh, then you need to ask yourself, is it that end-to-end -end solution? Uh, are you going to be, you know, purchasing multiple tools to try and achieve the same result? Or are you going to build an entire uh, solution on your own? And in either case, you know, it's going to be costly. It's going to be time intensive. And you better, uh, you know, you'd be better off putting that focus uh, into an a uh, analytics as a service uh, subscription model such that you can get to your insights a lot quicker and, uh, you know, at, at a much more uh, cost efficient way. Then you need to ask yourself, uh, does the uh, solution come with support through the platform? Okay, it's important to ensure that you have a platform that's uh, not only easy to use, but also supported by a team of experts that can help you through it. And with Purple Cube, we do provide that support uh, in the platform itself. Um, but we also, with each subscription, you know, we also provide uh, a certain degree of consulting services to help you operationalize those use cases that you need and get you uh, set up to, to use Purple Cube in the way that you and your team uh, need it to work. And then lastly, on your checklist, uh, does this help me get to insights quicker? What is that time to value? Uh, and that is the fundamental focus of what we're doing at Purple Cube. We built our templated approach to help you get to your insights in a matter of minutes, uh, as you've just seen here on this demo, rather than you know, days or hours. And again, when it comes to business operations, that's, uh, the ability to do that becomes invaluable. So these are just some key takeaways uh, you know, for SMBs or any organization for that matter, looking for an analytics as a service solution. And with Purple Cube, you'll be happy to know that that solution comes all in one. So to close it off, I thank you all uh, very much for joining us today. I hope this has been uh, an eventful webinar for you. Um, and if you, you, know, you see something that could be of value to your organization and you feel that more people in your team should see it, then get in touch with us today at purplecube.ai and request a demo. We'll be happy to show this to your team and help you understand how you can use this in some of your use cases. So again, a very big thank you from the entire team uh, at Edgematics and at Purple Cube, and we wish you a very happy day. Take care.